up everybody this is your boy Nino Salvai here back at it again with a brand new bows build that I've been working on for the past month uh, it focuses on COV weaponry alongside fighting iron bear so it's a typical iron bear uh, uh, yeah an iron bear kinda hybrid build with Moe's so uh, yeah let's get right into it starting it off with the green tree so the skills that we want are stuff that lets us increase our magazine size for COV and also uh, lets us sustain as much ammo as possible. Uh, that being said, COV does have some quirks for it, such as the fact that since that it uh, has this overheat mechanic, we want to keep that minimized to an extent. So we picked up match set to start that off, as it's going to give us decreased heat per shot. Uh, we pick Daka Bear so that way we can do stuff like the Guardian Takedown a whole lot easier. Uh, pick the Redistribution so we get some health regen, some ammo regen as well when we land crits. Uh, Scrappy so that way we have uh, weapon damage, handling, weapon swap, and mode switch speed. Uh, this actually applies to the COV guns. This, you gotta start them off right before you shoot them as they have this sort of weird engine that you gotta turn on. Uh, that's actually affected by it this skill as long as you keep moving. Uh, picked up uh, Stoke the Embers so it gives more incendiary damage. Russian Offensive so we got that lifesteal while we sprint. Also we can shoot while we sprint so that's really nice. Uh, Scorching RPMs, great skill. We get fire rate critical hit damage. Iron Bear also gets its increased damage as well. Uh, we got our click click at the bottom as it will get increased COV gun damage the more it overheats so the more heat we uh, sustain with the gun the more damage we actually get out of it and uh, some for the roast we get some extra ammo like to shoot as we get out of iron bear oh one last thing forge great capstone for COV as we could use a certain gun so we keep regening ammo which I'll get later too in the gear now also another thing to keep in mind is the green tree is that uh, Iron Bank actually does not work well with COV, it's a bug at the moment. Uh, it says increase most magazine size when in reality it actually increases the heat per shot. So we want to avoid this skill at all costs. And also the reason I didn't pick up Cloud of Lead is because while we will sustain more ammo it doesn't actually do anything for the heat per shot. So we just ignored it entirely. And now for blue tree, just typical blue tree setup. We grab Skag then, as that's just free damage, grizzled, so we could get Iron Bear as much as possible. Uh, it's diminishing return, so that's why I stuck with just one point and put the rest in Skag then. Three into means of destruction to get some uh, ammo and grenade regen, torque process promotion, and stainless steel bear for extra damage. Uh, auto bear. Uh, that's just really nice to have, especially if we get down Iron Bear can get us a free second wind. And also, uh, again, for Guardian Takedown, we could just, it's just a whole lot easier to Waddle Bear. Pull the Holy bin, Pin, excuse me, so we get increased critical hit chance. That way we can proc certain skills like Redistribution a lot easier. Two points of Vampire just to keep us healthy to the last, so we have grenades usage on second winds. Oh, while we're in Fight for Your Life to get second winds, excuse me. And uh, short fuse, just again free damage, mayhem scaled. Why not? And uh, yeah, this is where it gets a little like strange. I went down red tree to grab security bear, and uh, yeah, selfless vengeance. I've been told it's a sus skill. It's good for TD or builds as well, but not great for infinite ammo uh, builds. But the thing to keep in mind with COV is that they're gonna break quite often. Uh, so, no matter what, it's always going to break as, again, we don't have anything for Heaper Shot. So, it's nice, might as well get some damage out of it. Plus, uh, we're using a certain shield that doesn't really give us the benefit from Armored Infantry. And I'll get that to the gear, you know, as soon as this is done. Drowning in Brass. Uh, it's a kill skill. The more gun damage, the more we get kills. Iron Bear can help us stack this too. And experimental munitions for uh, critical hit damage. Uh, as we land a critical hit, we get free incendiary damage, bonus incendiary damage. 
And uh, yeah, that's it for the skills. And then for Iron Bear uh, weapons, uh, anything will do as long as it does splash and as long as it doesn't harm Iron Bear. So stuff like the nukes, rail guns. Uh, even the minigun can work just fine and as long as it's not exploding bullets. But uh, yeah, I didn't grab anything to purple tree yet. It doesn't really work well. Uh, we st we want the two capstones because we're going to use splash guns and we're going to want forge as it helps us sustain ammo a whole lot easier. And uh, purple tree, it's uh, yeah, it's better for iron cub honestly. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'll just get to the gear. And starting off with the gear, we have the gargoyle. Great uh, corrosive lock pistol helps us fight the raid boss very very easily. It could come with two, I think at most three pellets and uh, yeah it shoots darts that leave a uh, corrosive splash uh, the excuse me yeah it shoots corrosive darts and those explode and it also shoot orbs that also do splash damage and those orbs can also proc when we reload so uh, yeah that's a nice thing to have especially for a splash build such as this one and the best annoyance I would suggest is consecutive hits uh, we got the oh, and by the way, we get the gargoyle from the third DLC. Uh, it drops from Dick and Goyle, and I think uh, yeah, definitely the third DLC. All right, so the Globe Trotter, great all-around launcher as long as you, the gravity isn't too bad. Guardian takedown, it doesn't really do well, which is ironic because that's where you actually get it. You fight Scourge and it drops. It has a very good chance of dropping out, honestly. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like the yellow cake, except if all the bullets bounced. And uh, the best anointment I find is to be splash. I only have a radiation one here, but since we're using a lot of splash weapons, radiation just fits just fine. Uh, next is the rebound. Again, it can come in all elements. It's basically just a ricochet gun that also does splash. It can shoot up to three projectiles. Those bullets can, well, saw blades really, they shoot, pierce through enemies, explode, come back, and then explode again. And it does very, very good on Moe's. Especially since it's really hard to kill yourself with this thing. I never really found an incident where I got killed unless I had a minesweeper on or something. And if you, you know, for this build, you want to get it from DLC 4, it drops from the Psycho Reaver. Comes in all elements. And Hacking Chad, we just gotta do a side mission, I believe, in Eden 6. This is gonna help us regen our pistol ammo, as uh, we can just regen again using Forge and Redistribution and all that. And it'll keep our guns such as the Gargoyle topped off at all times. So yeah, definitely recommend this gun. Oh, and one more thing. We also wanna get the Saw Bar. Great Splash Assault Rifle drops from Borman Nates in Promethea. Best annoying consecutive hits. As long as you keep your distance, you could do a bunch of splash damage across the entire area. Definitely a must have. And as for shields, yeah, this is kind of a weird one. Uh, there's no capacity, which explains why I didn't really get uh, armored infantry. But uh, yeah, it gives us extra reload speed because, quite honestly, these guns just, their reload is so slow. It's, it's honestly kind of painful. Plus, again, they, they have a really good chance of breaking all the time, so we want to get through that animation as fast as possible. If you're not a big fan of this, I personally like this shield, but if you don't like it, you can also use stuff like the Old God, or maybe even like a rat suit. Uh, then again, no. Actually, yeah, scratch that. Skagdent will mess you up, so Old God will do just fine. And uh, best anointment for either one, honestly, is Iron Bear. Increase the shields and health. This one also gives us 50% health, so that pretty much gives us a ton of health, especially when we get out of Iron Bear. Plus the weapon damage and damage reduction is kind of nice. Oh, and it drops from Vincent. It's a save-only farm from DLC 2. Uh, you're going to have to save, again, save file farm for it. But it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. Cloning Manny Tracker is going to keep us healthy and also regen our ammo. Uh, I have a leveled one here, so I, I do have to be careful when throwing it, so I'd recommend getting a low level one if you're worried about that, especially since we don't have a shield, like or traditional shield. So yeah, definitely get a low level one if you if you can. You could get it from a vending machine. 
And as for class mods, for mobbing, I stuck with the green monster. I don't have a great one here, but this one was just good enough to get me through at least uh, general mobbing and mobbing sessions and guardian takedown and uh, the Malawan takedown. It gives us a whole bunch of damage with Iron Bear and also for our COV guns as well. It gives us points into click click and scorching RPMs through that. And it also gives us points to Iron Bank, but we don't want Iron Bank like I said earlier. So avoid that one entirely. Rolls that you want is weapon damage, weapon uh, critical hit, splash, splash damage radius, action skill damage, etc. And for bossing, we want to use the Minesweeper. This is going to give us a bunch of damage as when we land a crit, a micro grenade will drop, it'll explode, they can chain as those can also crit because of stuff like uh, pull the holy pin. So. Was that the right one? Let me just check. Yeah, pull the holy pin. So, yeah, it can chain. Helps us get easy boss melts. Rolls that you would want is the ones that I have up here. So, let's gag then. Torque cross promotion. One point redistribution. And for white text, grenade damage, splash damage, uh, splash damage radius are the top three. I have one with grenade damage and action skill damage, and that's just as fine for me. As long as you get a minesweeper, honestly. You just get a big increase in your damage. Um, Green Monster drops from the Hands of Jackbot in DLC 1, uh, DLC one. and the Minesweeper can drop from Captain Rowe in Promethea. Just gotta do the side mission first. And for artifacts, we want to use the Snowdrift Auto Idle. This is what I prefer to use to get around the map and get some extra heals. Uh, I have one here with area of effect, melt chance, radiation damage. So two really good rolls. They use a lot of radiation guns regardless. So it works out pretty well for me. Other stuff can work like Adam uh, Victory Rush, which is a Snowdrift Victory Rush. Or even a Pearl if you can manage uh, to stay alive, which is enough grenades. Oh, uh, and if you for the Pearl, we actually just want to stick with uh, magazine size for the most part. Alright, so now that we've gone through all that, I'm going to just show you how it works. Get around the map. Uh, let me sure that I have the right class mod on for this. I was going to fight Handsome Jack, but I was trying to get a better green monster. But, uh, yeah, hopefully he drops it. If not, oh well. Alright, so I don't know if people know about this. I haven't seen too much about it. But, uh, there's a way to skip, like, the first couple of stages. Well, the, the last stage, honestly. Jack, we just gotta do enough damage in the correct order. Oh, I forgot the tail guns on. Oh, I right, hold on. Alright, so far so good. Oh, we broke the arms. Okay, hopefully we can get this right. On just so he doesn't, uh, Iron Bear doesn't do one of those. Just get shot, but. Alright. Alright, that's a good opportunity to actually show you what I mean with the whole armor we jump pistols. Let's get that first. That. We're almost all the way back up. Alright, let's do it. Alright, so if we do enough damage in the last phase in this way, for this. Just skip it entirely. Sometimes you, uh, you do it. Sometimes you'll have a chance to actually do some weird moonwalk. It's actually kind of funny. And, uh, yeah. That's the build. Uh, I think I'll show in the beginning uh, how it works in mobbing, somewhere like Slaughter Shaft, and maybe like on the couple of raid but maybe, uh, yeah, Voltan will do. I think I have a good clip of Voltan getting just chunked. But, uh, yeah, this is the general build. So, unfortunately, we did not get a good, actually, no green monsters, or one green monster, but, uh, yeah, we did. Yeah! And yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
let me know what you guys think. If you have anything else that can uh, work pretty well with this build, please do let me know. I'm open to suggestions. And if you want to see more, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I think I'll end it off. I, I talked about the beginning of the video. I'll probably put those first two things I mentioned, Sauter Shop and Rule 10. I'll probably end it off with something like a clip from Skirsh to show you what I mean with the skips that you could do with Daka Bear. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Automaton. Oh. There, I've checked it off.